Jai Jai Sitchitanya Jai Anichananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vinda 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 Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vinda Jai Jai Sitchitanya Daya Nichananda 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 Jai Jai Sitchitanya Daya Gaurabhakta Vinda Govinda, Gora Bhakta Vinda, 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 Jai Jai Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vinda, 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 Gaya Nitya Nandaram, Gaya Nitya Nandaram, Gaya Nitya Nandaram, Gaya Nitya Nandaram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadhar Sivasti Gaura Bhakta Vinda. She kicked a tape on the Pabori Tananda. She is a regular. She was a good of the wind. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Hare
Lord Chaitanya would, would dance wildly. So it is described. Mad, he would throw his body in the air, not considering how he would land. Sometimes the Lord would crash to the ground and everyone thought his bones had broken. And then he bounced back up. But Lord Nityananda saw how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was crashing to the ground. Too much echo. And he desired to catch him. And thus before the Lord would touch the ground, he would catch his transcendental body. What can be said? I don't know. No, no, no. Why, why? There is echo, echo. And now no more sound, sound. Now give a little more volume, volume. Krishna, Krishna. Anyway, so... Lord Chaitanya, the most merciful incarnation. It is mentioned in the Chaitanya Bhagavad that the Supreme Personality of Godhead appeared in every home in Navadvip. But how is that? We thought that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in the yoga pit in Mayapur, huh? under the neem tree, and that that's why his name was Nimai. It really give me a little more sound and echo or no echo because it's not enough. Hare Krishna. Okay, and now stop it so that I can concentrate. We love you, but enough is enough. So then, Nimai appeared under a Nimai tree. So how is it that Chaitanya Bhagavat says that the Lord appeared in every home? Because Kali Kale Namarupe Krishna Avatare, that in this age of Kali, the Lord appears in the name of Nam Avatar. He appears in the, in the form. He descends as the holy name in every home in Navadvip. And from there, spread to so many homes. And here today, in that form, the Lord has appeared. Oh. That form is important because in dealing with the deity of Krishna, oh, there are many rules and regulations. When one worships the deity of Krishna, one cannot just casually worship the deity. One day we will worship and next day we will not. Today when we feel good, yes. Tomorrow when we have a sniffle, no. Uh, no, the worship of the deity must be done regardless. Always. It must continue. And when one cannot personally do it for some reason, one must find a qualified person to do it in one's place. In the Hari Bhakti Vilas, it is said the deity must be worshipped in, in like, like royalty. The, the Lord must be in a palace. The Lord must be on a throne. The Lord must eat the most opulent foodstuffs. It is said that one must somehow or other make arrangements to provide for the Lord in that way. It is said that when one accepts the deity, that throughout one's life, one must provide and care for the deity uh, as much as one would care for his own son. Uh, basically, non-different. Uh, but that is not all. Still, there is more. Uh, when even after this life, one must even make arrangements that the deity is worshipped for after one's life. That is why we see that in India, traditionally when deities were installed in temples, that they would put many properties in the name of the deity, land, in devatership. Huh? It is known as devata. Devatership. So in Indian law, it provides for making the deity the owner huh? of a temple, and the owner of land. And a lot of land in India is in the name of the deity like that, registered like the deity. 
of course, you know, some cheaters, they turn it ultra in this way and that way and then take a little bit of land of the deity and sell and so on. That's going on. Uh, what can I say? Just like the area around the Krishna Balaram temple, it used to be owned by the, by the deities of Radha Raman. It was all part of the Radha Raman Bagicha. Uh -huh. And later on, little by little, it was divided up and sold and so on. Um, what? So traditionally, land was put in the name of the deities because land is property. Land is secure. Land will stay. It doesn't go away. Money, you know, today you have money and tomorrow the government declares it invalid and you have nothing. <laughs> it, that's all possible. Right? It can happen from one day to the next. So what can we say? But land is land. Um, but also endowment funds were made to secure the seva puja of the deity. Srila Prabhupada made such endowment funds for the, deity, for the seva puja of the deities in, in Mayapur, in Vrindavan, and also in, um, what's it called, Norissa? Um, no, no, the other place nearby. Bhuvaneshwar, also in Bhuvaneshwar. Um, so, in this way, Srila Prabhupada had an endowment fund uh, for the seva, to guarantee the seva puja of the deities. So, accepting deities is, is a very serious thing according to Sanatana Goswami as it is written in Hari Bhakti Vilas. Um, so today we are here and we have witnessed this ceremony where the deities have been accepted in this home and to be worshipped. And we all pray um, to give the, the caretakers of the deity all the strength, all the spiritual strength to somehow or other continue that worship faithfully throughout their life and make arrangements also that the deities are cared for after their life, somehow or other. Mm -hmm. In that way, um, deities of Krishna must be worshipped. Mm -hmm. Then we see that today we are welcoming Sisi Gornitai. Uh, and they are the most merciful deities. Um, they are the deities that particularly come in this age, overlooking all the imperfections in the worship, and somehow or other accepting. Uh, Dhananjaya, one of Srila Prabhupada's very early disciples, who was invited by Srila Prabhupada to stay in Vrindavan, he says that one day, Srila Prabhupada told him, he said, you know, the deities of Gornitai, uh, they are very merciful. Our devotees that go on book distribution, they can also carry deities of Gornitai. And they can tell the people, he said, the people, they like to keep dolls, souvenir dolls, like Mexico, a doll from Mexico, or some doll from England with the woolly hat on and the red jacket or something like that. Uh, different dolls, souvenir dolls. Prabhupada say, says, the book distributors can take the deity of Gornitai and tell the people, these are Hare Krishna dolls. And if you keep them in your house, they will bring luck, especially if you offer them a little water every day. And in this way, Prabhupada was ready to send the deities in the homes of people who were not following any standard. So how does this mix with the Hari Vilas? And Prabhupada told Dhananjaya, you're a Grihasta, so you can do business and you can make the deities here in Vrindavan and supply the book distributors. And like that you can live. And Dhananjaya made 30 sets of deities after that. And, uh, and the book distributors, they distributed them. But anyway, later on it was stopped by someone, I don't know who. <laughs> Whoever mysteriously stopped. But that was Prabhupada's vision on the other hand. So where are we now? Between the Hari Bhakti Vilas 
and between that very merciful attitude of Srila Prabhupada, who had that unique vision. Huh? Where are we now, today, with the deities who have been accepted here in this house? Are we following the Hari Bhakti Vilas strictly and, and keeping in mind that we want the deities to be worshipped in this life and also after our life in royalty and that we make provisions for them somehow or other? Are we treating them in that way? Or are we thinking of how liberal Srila Prabhupada was? Mm. Personally, I think we should take it, we should never take it cheaply when we are dealing with Krishna. Uh, the deity is Krishna. The deity is not just very nice. Uh, oh, my phone. Yeah, pull this thing a little, yes. It is, of course, very nice to have an altar beautifully decorated with beautiful deities of Krishna. It brings such an amazing atmosphere in the house. Oh, one can feel the... the the presence of the spiritual world coming from the deities. That's the nice part. The difficult part is to do the puja every day. I know I am having a Govardhan Shila and I do puja every day. And uh, if I do it very simple and like as quick as time allows, then it's half an hour. It's still half an hour. Half an hour is half an hour in the morning. So it's half an hour in the morning. And if I do a little more decoration than 45 minutes. And if I really go to town and make it like beautiful, then one and a half hour. Uh, and Prabhupada said, one should make the deity so beautiful that one forgets all about the beauty of the material world. Uh, yes, my... my so that is quite a challenge, uh, to worship a deity every day. One must wake the deity. Um, then one must do some puja for the deity, an arati for the deity. Offerings should be made for the deity. Whatever we eat in the house must be offered to the deity. Uh, and even when we don't eat, the deity should still eat. Uh, that goes on. On our fast day, the deity must eat. So there is some, one can be a bit liberal with the timings and adjust them a little bit according to home situation in home worship. Uh, but still, every day, uh, sometimes people go on a holiday and then I ask them, so where are your deities? They say, oh, they're resting. They're resting. You mean you put them in jail? <laughs> you put them in a box. You lock them up, right? You, th you know. When I was a was a child, once they, my mother, my parents put me uh, for a week with some uh, some family to stay while my parents went on holidays, and they also had children. I was fighting with one, with a local boy, and I was winning. And he complained to his mother. And then as a punishment, he said, you have to go to bed. And it was in the middle of the day. And I couldn't get it. Go to bed in the middle of the day? What kind of punishment is that? That was a strange punishment. I, I, I didn't get it. So how will Krishna experience it when we put him to rest for one week? How, do you, how would you feel if we put you to rest for one week? Huh? Would you like it? You think Krishna likes it? So I don't like it either, this idea of putting your deities to rest while you're going on some holiday. Then what do you do? Yeah, if the deities are small, not so big, you can take them with you. But if they're big, how can you take them with you? Or if they're fragile, if they're made of marble, how can you take them with you? Then what do you do? Well, I remember that in Bengal, there used to be an MP, a member of parliament named Tarun Kanti Ghosh. And Tarun Kanti Ghosh, Prabhupada knew him. And Prabhupada said he is the highest placed Vaishnava in India. Tarun Kanti Ghosh, he was the owner of several national newspapers and so on.
And Tarun Kanti Ghosh was a wealthy man, and he used to go on Harinam in the villages. And that is how, that was his campaign. It wasn't like, like what we saw in America or in other places in the world. Tarun Kanti Ghosh simply did Harinam in every town and village. And that was his campaign, and then, and then he won the elections. So he was elected, and uh, now Tarun Kanti Ghosh used to come sometimes to Mayapur. In those days I was in Mayapur. So I knew him also. And the regional secretary of Mayapur, he knew him also. And we were to, I was together with the regional secretary of Mayapur on the train. And we were going from Calcutta to Delhi. And then the news came, someone told us, Tarun Kanti Ghosh is on the train. So we said, we were going to find him, you know. So we were looking for him. And we found him. At about six in the morning, we found him. And, he's, and he was there, and he had a wooden box. And in this wooden box, he had an altar. And on the altar, he didn't have his deities. He had pictures of his deities. Because at home, he had very large deities. But he had pictures of the deities. And in the train, he was doing a full puja in the box. He had all the paraphernalia, and he was offering it all to the picture. And he's doing a full puja in the box. And he said, what are you doing here so early in the morning? Shouldn't you be chanting your rounds? <laughs> He's chastising us for coming there. Huh? Why are you disturbing a man in his puja? Eh? <laughs> Shouldn't you be chanting your rounds? And whenever Tarun Kanti Ghosh was at home, then he would personally worship his Gornitai deities. In his absence, he still had a Brahmana look after. But he himself continued his puja in the box. So that's okay. If you cannot take your deities with you, then take a picture of the deities with you and worship that picture. But the puja must go on. It must continue. It cannot stop. It is, it is like that. He's a person. It is not so much about the ritual. Whether we are doing the ritual completely correct with Gornitai, that's not the main thing. He is a person. And he must be treated like a person. He must eat. He must wake up. He must be put to rest. He must be cared for. It. In, the win in the winter in Vrindavan, all the deities are wearing socks. Right? And wool and chadars and even the pictures get like woolen chadars on them. And every picture has a woolen chadar in the winter. It's cold in Vrindavan. And Radharaman... He is small, he has his own dinner room, and they take him from the outer to his dinner room, and there he gets hot kitchery with lots of ghee floating on top. In the winter, you want something hot, isn't it? So like that, the deity is Krishna himself, is a person, a hungry young boy. Huh? When the deities were installed in Vrindavan, they were brahmanas, and they were performing an, a very intricate puja. And Prabhupada had invited them because Prabhupada said, unless these brahmanas are part of the installation ceremonies, the local people will not accept the deity as really installed. Huh? But, there, but Prabhupada also had 24-hour kirtan going on. And Prabhupada said, that is the real installation. That actually is the real installation, the kirtan. It is the kirtan that is the essence. So he explained. Huh? Because that is the Yuga Dharma. That is the topmost process. More important than performing Agnihotri Yagya is actually Sankirtan Yagya in this day and age. Srila Prabhupada said, not I'm saying, I'm repeating what he said in Parampara. So it is very interesting. And subsequently, Srila Prabhupada when it was time to cook for the deities, Prabhupada said there should be many nice preparations because Krishna is a hungry young boy. So he wants to eat like very opulent. Uh, he wants kachori, he wants samosa, he wants sabji, puri, halva. He wants many different things. Uh, Krishna wants these things. Uh, so how to please the deity is really... Uh, 
the more we treat the deity like Krishna himself is now in our house, the more we are actually pleasing the Lord. Yes, we have limitations. Huh? We can only do so much. We have to live, we have to work, we have to do so many things. So, maybe we cannot do the puja the whole day. We cannot cook the whole day for the deity. All right. That is understood. That is understood. There is a story where once Narada Muni was visiting Lord Narayan. And Lord Narayan suddenly started smiling. And Narada, Narada Muni said, My Lord, you are smiling in such a way. I've never seen you smile like this. Why are you smiling like this? Then the Lord said, I'm smiling because I'm thinking of my devotee. Oh, Narada said, Oh, who is that devotee? I'd like to meet that devotee who makes you smile like this. So the Lord revealed to Narada who that devotee was. And Narada went, you know, playing his veena, chanting the name of Radhika Raman. And... When he came to the house where that devotee lived, he was a householder. And he had some land and some animals and this and that. And he was actually completely busy with all these things. Quite busy. Early in the morning, he would get out of the house. He would milk the cows. And then he would go to the field. Then he would have to go to the market. So many things he'd have to do. He's busy all day. But somehow or other, in the evening, he would every time do a puja. And he did that puja very nicely uh, in the evening. And then, uh, and that was it. So Narada said, well, my Lord, I saw, I, I watched this person and I appreciate he did a nice puja, but you know, for the rest he didn't do much. He didn't do much spiritual activity. All he did was one little puja in the evening and, and that was it. And then the Lord said, Narada, can you do a service for me? He said, yes, I can do a service. Narada, I have here this kumba, this pot, and it is filled with water. Narada, can you carry this pot on your head? Go circumambulate Mount Meru and bring it back. Right? Ah, Narada said, yes, 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 I, I will do. So he put the pot on his head, and it wasn't easy. I don't know if you ever had a water pot on your head, but it is, you know, takes practice. Huh? I mean, these village ladies, they know how to do it because they do every day. But, you know, the city ladies, they find it more difficult. Huh? Uh -huh -huh -huh. And carrying on the head. And the men, you know, if they could do it, you know, huh? <laughs> they sit and drink chai while the ladies carry the pots, right? That's what's going on. Anyway, so Narada didn't have so much practice, and he had to carry this pot around Mount Meru. So, and somehow or other, he made it. It's a long way, but he came back with the pot. He said so. So he returned the pot, and uh, the Lord, Lord Narayan said, "Very nice, very nice. Thank you so much, Narada. Can I ask you one question?" When you were circumambulating Mount Meru, what were you thinking of? He says, like, thinking of? I was all the time thinking of this pot, right? I was thinking of this pot and how not to drop it and somehow or other not spill the water. That's all I could think of. Narada, you didn't think of me? You are supposed to be my devotee. You're supposed to be always thinking of me, Narada. I said, oh, my Lord, I couldn't think of you because I had to think of that pot. He said, that's why this 
farmer who is a grihasta is such a great devotee. He has to balance so many things, but still he never forgets to think of me. That is why he is such a great devotee. So this is the spirit behind puja, that we never forget, never forget the deity, and that somehow or other, even when we are busy, we are thinking what we can offer. We are thinking of how to make a nice arrangement. That is how it is. Um, so we are... And then one becomes greatly blessed by this service. Then one's house turns into the spiritual world and all the misery disappears, goes far away. Right. And one actually experiences um, that the Grihasta Ashram is a perfect situation. That really, in that situation, one can make full spiritual advancement. Um, so that is, is the purpose of having deities in one's home, uh, somehow or other. So it is a historical time. And hey, Chup Chup, hey, hey, what happened? No, it's okay. Hmm. Anyway, like that, uh, we are thinking how wonderful it is to have deities in our home and what a great opportunity it is to serve Krishna. Uh -huh. And in that way, the house becomes transcendental. And of course, there must be kirtan, because without kirtan, uh, it is incomplete. And then... After the kirtan, there's little kata, and then after the kata, when there's no pasat, then there's more kirtan. That's the, <laughs> <laughs> that's the nature of kirtan. And, uh, and then after that, then the deities will come out, uh, all dressed, and we'll get the full darsha. And then maybe after that, long awaited that long awaited moment will arrive oh. uh, very mellow <laughs> um, I'm a little tired <laughs> no 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare 
Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare
Krishna, Krishna, Hare Oh, 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh, 
Itai gora hari ba, hari ba, hari ba, itai gora hari ba. Itai gora pemanne, itai gora pemanne. Ananta koti vais na bhavinda keda. Gora Bhakta Vindakeda Jai Jai Sitcharanya Jaya Nityananda Oh Jai Jai Sitcharanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Jaita Chandraya Gora Bhakta Vinda Tata Chitra Nukaya Nityananda Tata Chitra Nukaya Nityananda Jaya Dutta Chandra Raya Gora Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Jai Jai Sitaranya Jaya Nityananda Jai Jai Sitaranya Jaya Nityananda Jai Jai Sitaranya Jaya Nityananda Jai Jai Sitaranya Jaya Gura Bhakta Vinda Nitai gora hari bo, hari bo, hari bo. Nitai gora hari bo. Nitai gora hari bo, hari bo, hari bo. Nitai gora hari bo. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramaham Se Parivraji Ka Jai Astu Tere Sata Sisi Ma Abhai Chana Nane Vinda Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai Is Gaan Sam Stapa Ka Chai Asila Prabhupada Ki Jai Nama Chai Asila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vinda Ki Jai Sisi Brahma Madhava Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampadrai Ki Jai Prem Sri Kaho Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadada Sri Vasari Gaura Bhakta Vinda Kita Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopu Gopina Chama Kunda Radha Kunda Giri Govadan Kita Sri Vinda Vandam Kita Sri Damaya Pur Kita Sri Jagannat Puri Dham Kita Ganga Maya Muna Maya Kita Samaveta Bhakta Vinda Kita Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Prabhupada, 
Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai Hari Nam Sankirtan Yam Yam Ki Jai Gaura Bhakta Vinda Ki They said there was going to be a darsha. Is there a darsha? Let's go. Red getting ready. They told me. They must be ready now. They said it was going to take 45 minutes, and I reckon our kirtan was longer than 45 minutes. So they must be ready now. Almost ready means how much more time? Hey, Lomba Wala. Okay, South Africa Wala. Ten minutes? Gosh. Okay, ten minutes. In deity worship, you need patience. So, betje aramse das minut kili. Shanti shanti. Ouch. I. The associates of Lord Chaitanya, amongst them was Vakreshwar Pandit. And Vakreshwar Pandit would be able to dance for 72 hours because he was a spiritual personality. But we ordinary human beings, 72 minutes is already a feat. And those who can do more than that, they are like uh, stormtroopers. Huh? <laughs> and of course, but when one develops a taste, uh, when one develops a taste for chanting the holy name, then it's not easy to stop. Uh, one wants to simply carry on. And it is on that strength that Vaishnavas carry on. Lord Chaitanya 
would in the house of Srivas have kirtan all night. It is described by Kavi Karnapur how one devotee somehow or other got a little tired so he went to sleep somewhere, found a relatively quiet spot in the house and took a nap and when he woke up all the devotees were gone. <laughs> I guess the nap, the nap got a bit out of hand. That, that happens sometimes with transcendental naps. Uh, anyhow, so he was in this way um, um, finding that all the devotees had gone so he went out of the house into the street and he saw one of the devotees and the devotee said the Lord is gone. He said, yes, the Lord is gone. Everybody is gone. He said, no, the Lord is gone. It was at that time that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left to take sannyas. But anyway, later Nichananda brought him back. So it was not such a disaster as it seemed to be. Everything was all right. Uh, Mother Sachi cooked. And when Mother Sachi cooked, she cooked with so much love. And therefore, that love was manifest in whatever she cooked. Therefore, when the devotees ate the prasadam, which was cooked by Sachi Devi, they rolled in ecstasy on the ground because the consciousness of the cook is manifest in that offering. Right? Not only the consciousness of the cook, but the appreciation of Krishna for what has been offered. Huh? Because deity worship is not a mechanical thing, it is a personal thing. There's a personal exchange. So just now, the offering is going on to the deities. And in that way, we appreciate that what has been prepared uh, is not just quickly slapped together and thrown on the plate and we have to fulfill our obligation and make an offering. No, uh, an attempt has been made to make something extraordinary for Krishna and to attract Krishna. And thus, we patiently wait, uh, um, or impatiently wait. Uh, I guess I impatiently wait by now, because they cheated me. Uh, they told me 45 minutes, and I did more than 45 minutes of kirtan. And of course, with the Harinam Ruchi here, with Ananta on the drum, with Savi Sachi making funny faces at me all the time. <laughs> with uh, Hari Namananda bouncing. And, uh, oh God, I forgot his name from London. What's his name again? Doya Moya. Such a difficult name. Doya Moya. Doya Moya. Doya Moya. Daya Maya, okay, <laughs> here from London, who every day, I don't know for how many years, but every day would go out in Soho Street on Harinam, every day, without fail, and now is here. So that brings some substance, you know, huh? that brings some substance. He was in New York on the street with Ram Rai, was it? Yeah, with Ram Rai. So in Union Square, which is like a, a very central square where lots of people come, a group of devotees every day, they're there chanting the holy name. Right? But they sit in one spot, they hold their spot and don't give up that spot for nothing. And every day they're there in that spot. And so many people, so many people are hearing the holy name coming through that Union Square. Uh, so in that way, uh, stalwarts of Harinam Sankirtan are here today. Our Gora Karuna is the book distributor on his little bicycle with the Fuvuzela from Africa. Huh? <laughs> the plastic horn. Don't know where he went, but probably distributing books somewhere. Anyway, so Harinam Ruchi is an international Harinam group. And they are now in Melbourne for you, for you to come out with them. Don't only come out when Kadamba Kanana Swami goes out because he doesn't go out. Or when he does go out, he doesn't let you know. <laughs> and you find out later on Facebook. Uh, but you can go every day 
Huh? What time is Harinam Ruchi there? You're leaving after breakfast. You're leaving after brekkie, yeah? There you go. Tomorrow. All day. After breakfast. From, from the temple tomorrow. From the temple. So all come for the morning class. And, uh, and after. You can go have a little prasad. And then to help digestion. You can have the Harinam out in the street. Oh. To touch the conditioned souls. Because... The most wonderful thing is when we become an instrument of the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. Huh? We are worshipping, we are chanting, we are dancing, but not just for ourselves. We are chanting and dancing here for ourselves, but also to deliver the neighbors. Huh? I'm sure they had an overdose today. <laughs> and, and in the same way, let us go downtown and Give the holy name to the people of Melbourne, of, of Korea, and of everywhere else, <laughs> wherever they come from, China. And in this way, um, spread the holy name. Oh, if he has a bag with, uh, with CDs, and I really want to get rid of them, <laughs> so please buy them, then I'll stay in your house. See, I can't be there all the time, but then the kirtan will be in your house. So anyone interested, you can also get one of these. And uh, this coming year we have our 10-year celebration of Soweto Ratiatra, and these CDs will go for that, actually. I've decided they will. And you guys, you have to come. Af <laughs> Africa, <laughs> coming. He is from there and from Africa anyway. So. Okay, ten minutes is up. We're coming. Let's all go there when they're finished or not. That's that's Chalo. Das minute hogia. Nam jange.